Eli 5. If Hawaii is in the middle of the Pacific tectonic plate, why does it have so much volcanic activity? There is what's called a hot spot, a kind of hole in the earth that carries magma to the surface, and it's static and doesn't move with tectonic plates. Nobody knows for sure how these things form, but we can see that's the case because as the plates move a long line of small underwater islands gets created, and we can see that pretty clearly. The Hawaiian Islands sit above a persistent hot spot in the Earth's mantle where magma easily melts through the crust to reach the surface. In fact, the island chain exists because the tectonic plate is moving over the hot spot. The Big Island is where volcanoes are presently depositing new material, but as you move away, the islands become dormant and smaller, because time has eroded them away. A new island will eventually displace the Big Island of Hawaii as the location of active volcanism over the hot spot. Think of the volcano as a sewing machine needle, upside down, and the Pacific plate as the cloth. The volcano stays still and the plate moves over top of it as it periodically punches its way through and reaches the surface to create an island. Since the Hawaiian island chain trends NW then takes a bend and trends N and that means the plate was once moving N and then abruptly changed directions and started moving NW. Aloha. Smile. Not only do we have earthquakes, we have three types of earthquakes. Volcanic, the magma is moving inside the volcano, Kilauea, Mauna Loa, Hualai, for example. Tectonic, the land itself is on a number of faults on the Pacific plate, most well know is probably the Helena Fault. Amazingly good video here. Mantle, this is due to the settling of the weight of the islands on the Earth's mantle. The difference between the earthquakes can be determined by triangulating sensors that measure the depths of the earthquake. Surface earthquakes are usually related to the movement of magma, usually lower magnitude as well. Whereas the 2006, 6.9, Kilauea Bay earthquake was the result of a mantle one in the 1975, 7.9, and 1868, 7.7, earthquakes were tectonic ones. Source. If you think about it, this means that there's a substructure system where hot spots remain stable and stationary while the tectonic plates move over them. What's down there that's hot enough and stationary that's causing repeated holes slash volcanoes to form as the plates move above it? This post led me down a wild journey of the Hawaiian island chain and outlying islands. I ended it with Wisdom, the oldest known bird on earth that lives slash nests on Midway. She's 68, and she just laid yet another egg to add to her 35 other recorded chicks. HTTPS colon slash slash www.smithsandemog.com slash smart news slash world's oldest known bird lays egg again 1809709666 slash. I would just like to share that I went to Hawaii with my college roommate. As we sat on a beach, she appeared lost in thought. Suddenly, she hits me with this morsel. Why don't islands float away? Like, what keeps us anchored down in the same spot? She is now the athletic director for a large private university. Another interesting tidbit is that India colliding with Asia and the resulting Himalaya mountains is the event believed to have shifted the planet from a, then, greenhouse, no ice caps, planet to the current ice house, ice caps, phase the planet has been in for the past 35 m years. The accepted theory for this is that the predominant cause of shifts from greenhouse to ice house is not caused by the amount of volcanism around the planet, as was previously believed but rather the amount of fresh rock undergoing chemical weathering. As new rock is exposed to the atmosphere, it pulls CO2 from the atmosphere as part of the weathering process. This is known as a carbon sink. TL, doctor in other words, the uplifting of the Himalayas 35 m years ago exposed enough new rock to pull a sufficient amount of carbon from the atmosphere that the planet went from a greenhouse state to an ice house state. The same thing which a lot of PPL explained here has also been discovered on some planet of the solar system. I can't remember which one, but it's nice to know the Venus or Mercury are having the same things that affect Hawaii. As others have said, it's a hot spot from deep within the Earth, underneath the plates that move about on the upper few miles of the Earth's surface. Another example of a hot spot that happens to be beneath land is Yellowstone. It wasn't always in this spot on the map. As the North American plate moved over the top of the hot spot, it seemingly moved on the map. Previously it would have been in eastern Idaho. Before that it was south-central Idaho and before that it was eastern Oregon. Eventually, it will be in north-central Wyoming or south-central Montana. The Rocky Mountains are keeping a bit of a lid on the hot spot, but historically, there have been infrequent, but massive eruptions from this area as well as smaller eruptions in between.
On human time scales, it is not seen as a place of great volcanic violence, but it does have that potential.